In this video, we discuss the PIX inside annotation process. You can find it in process and then painting. There it is. If you look it up in PIX inside, what it is, it is an interactive text rendering procedure implemented as a dynamic process. Wow. In any other software, it will probably be described as adding text to a picture. And that's all it is. So you enter a text, whatever you want star cluster and then you actually click on where you want to have the text in the picture and now you might think nothing happened but something happened but something very minuscule happens because the default size 12 is so small that you practically cannot see it but if i now enter here a default size of 50 suddenly i can see it so i can still pick it up move it around and then obviously I can do all the things you can do with it, any other software too. I can change the font, I can make it bold, I can make it italic, and I can change the color. For example, white. <coughs> I can also change the opacity, so I can make it opaque if I want to. I wouldn't really know here why I would do that, because then it's not really well readable. Last but not least, you have here a possibility to say show leader. And again, you think nothing has happened, but you actually have here a line which you can almost not see. And if you go now go very, very close to the screen and try to figure out where it ends, then you can actually move this line around and put it to exactly where you want it. And now when I change, the text it will stay stable the issue with this line is that it's so thin that you can almost not see it and you cannot make it any thicker so once you're happy you just press here on execute and now it's how they would call it it's rendered on there and you cannot change it anymore so as always at the end of the tutorial a small conclusion so first question why is this a process and not just an icon up here and why can you not change the thickness of the leader line? So two questions probably nobody can answer. It is how it is, like everything in Pixel Insight. Um, probably I would do that with another software, to be quite honest, because about every software can do that and probably much better, much more flexible than here with Pixel Insight. But if you only need a simple piece of text in your picture and you want to keep everything within Pixel Insight, it's possible. And it's okay. With that, see you next time and clear skies.